hello friends welcome to my tutorial in today's uh, tutorial I am going to discuss on uh, elastic load balancer before going to start uh, let me just give you some uh, brief on ELB what is ELB? ELB is elastic load balancer Uh, this ELB uh, we will attach to the uh, instances so that ELB will make sure it will distribute the traffic equally to the instances let me let me just uh, explain in diagram so this is our VPC in our VPC let's think we have uh, three servers all three are web servers And here we have one gateway, internet gateway. VPC. server 2 and here we have load balancer internet gateway so from uh, outside if uh, any users come and hit our website so internet gateway will route all the traffic to the ELB uh, so elastic load balancer it will equally distribute all the traffic to these servers so initially uh, the ELB will make sure all the servers has to be healthy so if there are any unhealthy servers it won't send any request to them for example in web server 1 for any reason it goes down it will not send request to web server 1 it will uh, only distribute traffic to the web server 2 and web server 3 so after web server 1 is up and running again it will start sending request to web server 1 so that is how ELB will make sure to distribute uh, traffic equally to the instances so that uh, our website will have high, high, high availability for the users. So any number of users uh, come and visit our website if they do any uh, transactions on the website uh, our servers will never go down. So based on the uh, number of users use this uh, website we need to increase our web servers. In our example, we will just take uh, three web servers. So we will test the connectivity using the ELB so that we will have availability on the website. Now let's go back to AWS console and we'll create this uh, uh, structure in our AWS and we'll test it. Open AWS console. Login with your credentials. Sign in to console. So, first step uh, create three web servers. That means launch. Launch three instances. by installing httpd service using user data then create elastic load balancer 
so there are three types of load balancers uh, first one is classic second one is network third one is application so classic load balancer is a uh, whole type of load balancer and it's whole generation elb nowadays no one, no one is using this classic load balancer whole generation In network load balancer, we uh, it supports TCP protocol. In application load balancer, it supports HTTP, HTTPS protocols. In today's session, I will use network load balancer for the TCP protocol, and we will test it accordingly. So there are two steps for creation of ELB. First one is create target group. Second one is create load balancer. Now let's create instances and ELB in AWS console. So currently I don't have any instances running in my uh, account. Let me just launch uh, web servers one by one. Select a Amazon Linux, t2.micro, VPC settings. Storage, add tag. Web server one add rule all traffic review on launch use instant key pair launch second server with the same configuration. Select the key pair and launch it. Create third server with the same configuration. Add tag. Okay, I have created, I have launched three instances. Actually, I forgot to uh, use user data function to install HTTP service, but no worries. We can log into these servers and we can install the HTTP service manually. So web server one is running already. Uh, let me open web server one and we'll install HTTP service.
sudo minus i m minus star http minus y so http service has been installed system start http ad start we need to start this service sorry service http ad start okay http service has been started let me just see the status okay http ad is running let me just make sure whether we are getting that uh, httpd apache web page or not ok so it is successfully installed in the web server 1 let me install web server 2 the same http service Httpd minus y. Service Httpd start. Service Httpd status. Okay, it is running. Let me just check it in website browser. Okay. HTTPD install successfully. Do it same thing in third server. HTTPD minus Y service HTTPD start service HTTPD status okay it is running let me just check it in web web browser Okay, so we have successfully installed HTTP services in all these three servers. Now, go to load balancers. First step, we need to create target groups. So, what is this target group means? Uh, in target group, what are the instances you want to uh, use it for the load balancer so in our case we have three instances that those three in instances have to go under this group so that elastic load balancer will uh, equally distribute the traffic for all these three servers HTTP demo target group we are creating network load balancer so we need to select TCP VPC selection HTTP select TCP so uh, these are time intervals so for for every 10 seconds ELB uh, will check the uh, healthy healthy of the instance if it will just check for three times uh, in each uh, 10 seconds interval and it will shift to next instance if that uh, instance is unhealthy so that setting we need to do here create uh, target group so i have created target group successfully and under this target target group go to targets we need to add our add our three instances here edit select the instances add to registered 
So okay, I have added added the instances to the target group. Currently, the status is unused. That means these are not yet assigned to load balancer. Now go to load balancer. create one load balancer now we have here three types one is classical classic second one is network third one is application as I told you network load balancer only supports TCP application load balancer supports HTTP HTTPS now we'll go with network load balancer name demo ELB scheme is internet facing TCP protocol available select the VPC select the availability zone so all our three instances are in one availability zone only so we need to select the availability zone where the instances are there that's all next config routing we need to select the target group since we have created already one exi existing target group we need to select the existing one demo tg protocol tcp instance level so again here we need to select that uh, health checkings register targets review and create see the load balancer has been created and the currently st the state is provisioning so that means it is provisioning all the instances now if you go to target groups and see now the status is initial that means it is initializing all the instances we need to uh, make sure these all three instances have to come to healthy status then only our load balancer will work initialization will take a while we need to wait and see the status to come to healthy keep refresh the page so that we can see the latest uh, status still the state is provisioning we need to wait till it's come to active status target registration is in progress Looks like I have lost the internet. Let me just connect it back.
okay now if you see all these three instances have come to status healthy now go to load balancer and see the state so the state is active active state that means our load balancer has been activated with all three instances now we'll test the uh, traffic so for uh, checking after creation of elb elb will give you one dns name so always we need to use this dns name to go to the website so like these dns names uh, on behalf of these three uh, web servers it will give you one single dns name so these DS, dns name will take you to the website so these are home page where we can see the uh, our website so in backend what elb will do elb will route the traffic to these three servers but in front end we will see only this web page that means even when web server 1 is down it will route the traffic to web server 2 and web server 3 but here we will see the same home page so in this case uh, we will not come to know whether elb is uh, uh, really tra uh, routing the traffic to the servers or not for, so for that what we will do we will go to server 1 2 3 uh, where we have inst where we have installed this HTTP uh, service we will go to that index.html page and we will modify this home page to uh, use we will just override the uh, name with web server 1 2 3 like that so that we will come to know uh, elb where it is routing the traffic to which server let's do that We need to find the path where this Amazon Linux uh, HTTP page has been installed. So this is the path where the HTML page has been installed. sudo minus i no index.html here is the title amazon linux ami test page so here i will amend append with uh, web server 1 Web server one. Now do the same thing in other two servers. Sudo minus i cd no index.html now let's give append with web server 2 Now do the same thing in third server. Now let's give web server 3. In real time we will not modify these pages but in 
in my practical session we want to see whether elb is really routing the traffic to the servers or not just to identify for which server it is uh, routing the traffic i'm just appending with the server names in the html page okay now we'll test it now if you select the web server one okay actually in web server one we have uh, appended with web server three no issues web server two okay now you see we have all these three servers first web server is routing to web server one second one is second web server two third one is routing to server three so we have appended the files now we'll refresh the uh, dns uh, elb dns name what we got it we'll see for which server it is routing the traffic i will just refresh the page see it is it is routing the traffic to web server 2 since it is i am the only one user it is just uh, distributing the traffic to web server 2 now we'll see will test first scenario will test we will uh, we will down the http service uh, in web server 2 and we'll see uh, for which server it is routing the traffic so in web server 2 web server 2 Web server 2 is 995. I will stop the HTTP service here. Service HTTP stop. So I have stopped the HTTP service in web server 2. Now if you refresh our page, earlier it is showing web server 2. Let me just uh, refresh the page now it is routing the traffic to web server 1 so that means in this uh, in this case web server 2 is down so elp is making sure it is sending traffic to web server 1 or web server 3 since it since it has randomly selected uh, web server 1 if any other request comes it will route the traffic to web server 3 now we will test uh, we will down the service in server 1 and we'll see whether it is routing traffic to server 3 or not web server 1 10.53.1.72 okay service httpd stop so now I have stopped the HTTP service in web server 1. So web server 2, the service is already down. So it will route the traffic to web server 1 and 3. But in web server 1, I have down the traffic, down the uh, service uh, for HTTP. So that means there are two unhealthy instances here. So that means ELB, it has to uh, send uh, traffic always to web server 3 only because web server 3 is the only healthy instance which it is running now we'll go and uh, refresh our web page see actually in our third instance we have appended with web server 1 that's the reason you are seeing web server 1 here so this is how elb will work now we will start the services again and we'll see which which web server it will take
it is routing the traffic to web server one only so this is how elb will work it uh, it checks it keeps checking the instances whether healthy or unhealthy so it will not send the traffic to unhealthy instances it sends only traffic to the healthy instances so this is how it works thanks for watching my video see you in next video guys bye